Hi guys, Kyung here and very excited to have you join us in the Seasonal Trade Ideas. Uh, this video tutorial here is to really give you the hands-on support as well as to make sure you are onboarded with us properly to share with you some of the things that you want to take note of when you're trading with the seasonal trade ideas uh, and what you really need to understand okay for you to fully utilize and of course appreciate this okay so in short again seasonal trade ideas here what we are basing this strategy on is based on historical statistics uh, there are certain patterns that tends to repeat every year and we want to extract those statistics and make our trading decision based on those, okay? And whatever ideas, all the ideas that we are sharing with you here in the seasonal trade ideas are all based on a minimum of at least 80% accuracy and at least a minimum of 10 years historical statistics, okay? So quick one here, how to use the seasonal trade ideas, what you can expect from us. So every week, hey, you will receive a minimum one email uh, on Monday at the start of the week. Um, the subject title here is called Seasonal Trade Ideas. So if let's say on Monday, you have yet to receive anything from us, okay, you do not see this email in the inbox, do check your spam, your promotion box. Uh, if you still do not see it by Monday, 11 a.m. GMT plus 8, Okay, make sure you reach out to us um, to kind of like help you to double check and verify okay, uh, what went wrong. Okay, so minimum every week you receive one email. Okay, and in this Monday email, you will actually see all the trade ideas for the week. Okay, and of course, sometimes there will be certain updates, certain new ideas uh, throughout the week, and we'll update you within the week. We'll send you another email if that's the case. Okay, so no worries on it because. Whenever there's an update, there's a new trade idea, we'll send an email out to get you notified. Okay. And in the email itself, uh, we're going to keep it very simple and concise, straight to the point. Uh, this is an example of what you're going to see. You're going to see the name of the company. Okay. So in this example here, we're using Costco Wholesale Corporation. We'll include the tickle symbol because in stocks, okay, you don't really key in the full name of the company. Uh, all you do is locate the ticker symbol, right? So in this case here, the ticker symbol is C-O-S-T, right? You, of course, have the very important information here is the entry date and exit date, okay? So entry date here is the day that we're going to buy into this stock, okay? The exit date is very straightforward. It's the day that we're going to close off this position, okay? So in this case here, we're going to enter on the 28th of October, and we're going to exit this particular stock called Costco or Cost uh, on the 3rd of December, Okay. In addition, what you see is the two other information here, the reliability factor. In this case, the example here we have is 90%. And the other one here is the average return, which in this case, we do have a 6.02%. Okay. So allow me to explain to you what is reliability factor and what is average return, Okay, how we calculate that. So reliability factor essentially refers to the accuracy or the probability of this particular trade. Okay. So all of our seasonal trade ideas when we send it out to you are based on a minimum of 10 years statistics. Some of them are 15 years. Some of them are like 12 years. Some might be even 20 years. Okay. So again, based on the data and that we can have, right, the sample data that we have, uh, some of it we can only extract up to 10 years. Some of it we can do it by 13, 12, 15, or even 20 years. Okay. But know that the minimum that we have on this statistics here is at least 10 years. So now suppose we have a reliability of a uh, factor of 90%. What it then means is that based on the 10 years statistics for the past 10 years, right? So if today you're looking at this, this is 2020, then of course, all the way back to 2010. Okay, so from 2010 to 2020, uh, based on 10 years, a 90% reliability factor means out of 10 years, nine years, this trade play out as what we want, okay? And that's one year the, the trade didn't play out, okay? That means if today we are looking to buy, uh, then 90% reliability factor means nine years the stock did rally during that period of time, and there will be one year that the stock didn't rally, okay? So know that this is a statistic thing, right? Um, there's no such thing as 100% guaranteed okay so some of the trade that you might receive might have a reliability factor of a hundred percent but does not mean that moving forward is going to be hundred percent all the time because based on past 10 years is 
hundred percent every year during this period. In the past, it did rally, but does not mean that this year is definitely going to rally. Okay, so I want you to take note of that. Okay, that's what reliability factor is. It gives you some expectation of how accurate this is based on past ten years minimum. Okay, and of course, average return is also pretty important because this data, this information, give us an expectation of how much we can anticipate from this particular trade. Okay, uh, and the average return that we share over here accounts also for trades that were lost during a certain period of time within that that statistics. Okay, so to give you an example, right now, suppose we look at Costco, right, which is COST. Uh, it has an average return of 6.02 with a reliability factor of 90%. So what it means is based on 10 years, right? Nine years, this stock rally, and there will be one year that this stock did not rally. In other words, if you bought Costco since 2010 all the way until now for the past 10 years, there will be nine years you actually made money from this trade, and there will be one year you lost money from this trade. And if you average out this 10 years, actually every year you made about 6% from this trade alone itself, okay? And that's fantastic because 6% here, we are looking at just from 28th of October to 3rd of December, right? About two months, you actually, or even not two months, about one month plus, you actually make 6% from this trade itself. That's fantastic, okay? And 6% here, of course, is an average, which means that for the past 10 years, there might be some year, maybe you return 3%, some year, maybe 5%, some year, maybe 8%. And of course, this also account for the losing year. Now, having said that, a losing year can be negative 0.01. In other words, a negative year is accounted as long as the stock did not rally. Okay, But over here, it did not account for, you know, in terms of like when it didn't rally, how much did it drop? Okay, so this brings me to the next slide where there are certain things that you want to take note of when you are trading, okay? Now, when we talk about this here, it's more of uh, you want to understand your personality, your style, okay, your risk profile, uh, but not too much on the strategy component because the strategy component is really all done for you. You just follow the instruction, what stock, when to enter, when to exit. Now, this part here on things to note is really to personalize and understand your individual risk profile. Okay, so the first thing here to note, okay, very important, is never, never trade with leverage. So in other words, always trade without leverage. Okay, so if today you are actually buying that actual stock, you are not leveraging. Okay, so we always encourage you when you're looking to trade these ideas, do not leverage your position. Okay. The second point to note is always manage your risk exposure. Now, what we meant by this is that because of seasonal trade ideas, right? The strategy here is that we're looking to enter and exit during a specific date. Uh, we do not have a specific stop loss price or we do not have a specific entry price because we are looking at dates. We are looking at seasonality, right? So I want you to take note that while this might sound a little bit scary, oh, how come there's no stop loss in place and things like that? Uh, but because we are not leveraging in these trades, the losses are actually controlled, okay? In the next few points, I'm going to share with you an example of that. Now, suppose that today, uh, again, we are looking to buy into a stock, right? We have an idea, we receive an idea from an email, we want to buy this, okay? And I want to put in a total investment of $100 to actually go and buy this trade. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually putting aside from my entire capital, I'm taking $100 out to allocate to this trade, okay? And let's say this trade didn't play out for any reason, right? And the stock dropped by 20%, okay? What I've then experienced in terms of losses is just $20, okay? Which is 20% of whatever investment that I put in, $100, okay? So we are not actually risking the entire capital. Okay, so this brings me to this point here as, as a general guide, never risk more than 5% of your entire capital on each trade. Okay, so suppose that if today you have an investment capital of 10,000 US dollar, uh, when you receive a, a seasonal trade idea, right? Never, never allocate more than 5% to that single trade. Now, during some week, you might receive like five ideas, seven ideas, eight ideas. Okay, of course, it's not going to be every idea exactly on the same date, but within the week, maybe two ideas you enter on Monday, 
one idea on Wednesday, two ideas on Thursday, and then another one on Friday. Okay, that can happen. Okay, so what you want to then take note of is what we call here risk exposure. Never risk more than 5% on each trade. So if you have five trades, your total exposure is going to be five times 5%. That's going to be 25%. Okay, but also understand that it doesn't mean that you're going to lose if you lose all trade, doesn't mean you're going to lose all 25%. Why? Because today you're not leveraging. Okay, The only way for you to lose your entire investment into this trade ideas is where the stock goes to zero or the stock is being delisted from the equities market, right? The indexes, which honestly will not happen in that period. Because why? We are looking at not penny stocks. We are looking at companies that has at least a minimum of 10 years track record in the exchange. Okay, So I want you to take note that while we do not have a hard stop, this entry, these stocks, these trade ideas are also very, very safe. Okay, As long as you follow this guideline here and never leverage the position. Okay, So I hope you understand. Right, So in this example here, uh, if today we enter the trade with a $500 based on 5% capital and the stock dropped by 20%, okay, then from $500, we have actually lost 10% uh, 20%, which is $100. Now, if you put that in the perspective of your entire investment capital of 10,000, that's actually only 1%, right? So you can see from this understanding, it's actually very safe, okay? And of course, this one here, I want you to take note as well, okay? Um, some traders we know, okay, um, they tend to not really follow this rule. Uh, nothing wrong about it, but I want to bring it up here, okay, during your onboarding process. Now, never, never do not be greedy, okay, because why? There will be a time where definitely you will experience, okay, uh, it's time to exit the market because we give you the specific time to enter, we give you the specific date to exit, right? There will be times where it's time to exit, but you know, you look at the, you look at your trade, it's running in profits, it's good, okay? And you might start to think, uh, what if I don't exit and I, you know, see how far this can go, okay? Now, I want you to know that why we selected that date to exit that trade is because historically, there's a statistics that tell us that after that date, the stock might not perform very well, Okay, so again, every decision that we make here at Seasonal Trade Ideas are based on statistics. Okay, they are empirical data to back up the decision that we're doing. So it's not guesswork. There's no guesswork at all over here. Everything is based on statistics. So do not be greedy when it's time to exit, exit the trade. Okay, and the last thing for you to take note over here, of course, you can choose to actively manage the trade while there's no need to do that is an option for some of you, okay? So as a framework or a guide, when a trade is up more than 20%, okay? So for example, you, you put in $500 to buy onto this particular stock and before the exit date, okay, this stock has rallied by like 20%, okay? Uh, there will be instances like that, right? Uh, you can choose to now add in a stop loss at the price that you entered so that we remove the risk from this particular trade here. Okay, This is what we call risk-free trade. Uh, you'll be able to do that, though uh, there's no need for you to, to actually do it. But this is an option. Some of you, perhaps, you feel a little bit more comfortable by all means. Okay? Now, well, it seems like there's a lot of things for you to take note, right? Essentially, uh, these steps is very simple, okay? Uh, is all the hard work has been done for you. All you really need to do is just make sure you receive the email, okay? Make sure you, of course, read the email correctly because if you enter the wrong stocks, um, I won't be able to help you, right? So make sure you read your email correctly after you receive it, okay? And then all you really have to do, the next thing is, of course, lock into your broker, enter and buy the selected stocks on the specific date that we had mentioned, okay? And when the time is there, you know, exit and sell away that stock. Essentially, it's just this three steps, okay? Uh, those things that we share with you that you want to take note of uh, is really to craft this entire strategy uh, to put in that personalized element into it, okay? More importantly is that risk profile perspective, okay? So uh, I hope this little tutorial here is clear. 
for you to number one, understand how to maximize the seasonal trade ideas. And at the same time, appreciate you know what we have done for you over here. Okay, uh, and I'm very confident that if you apply this consistently within the next one year or even half a year period, six months to a year period, uh, you'll be able to see how this is able to help you in your trading investment journey. Uh, if you have any questions, all right, uh, do not hesitate to reply to our email. Okay, I'll be personally monitoring those emails. Any questions that you have, any support that you need, feel free to write in to us and I'll be more than happy to assist you. All the best to your trading investment journey and I'm looking forward to hear more good news and sharing from you guys as well. So I'll see you in the next email.